Hey all, this is Isaiah Stanback. Big Nate Newton and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for their sponsorship of this week's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. In case you're not familiar with Niagara, they're the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products. Products that save real money, like Niagara's stealth technology toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara also works with affordable housing projects and commercial multi-unit properties to save water usage in dollars where it's needed the most. So, if you want to conserve water and save money, check out NiagaraCorp.com. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Isaiah Stand back, back for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. And per usual, I'm sitting up here with my big dog, Nate Dog. What's up with you, baby? Hey, I'm good, Isaiah. It's a new year, it's a new time. Okay. I see you still buffed. I no, see you still no, cut. No, I'm just about you to get got on your, it. Got your hair yeah. stacked on your head like you just hey, come out of hard series listen up, workout. Nate, no, I got the hair tied up because I'm about to start getting my body right. You know what, oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you're not. yeah. No, you're not. 2023, man. You know, I've been I've been skinny fat. I don't like skinny fat, Nate. I gotta okay. get I gotta get swole, you know. Wow. My suits ain't been feeling right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, but I you've been looking good in them. You know what? But I had a week off. See, right. I had a week off, so I don't even know how my suits fit. So I'm gonna make sure I fill them things out. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got week 18 coming up, so I gotta make sure that I look good. Let me tell you <laughs> something. Hey, Washington, uh huh, beat Texas. Yeah, you're doggone right. We beat Texas. But did you think it was gonna be something different? We, we have a guy in the building. His name is Ted. Listen he's up. not. He's producing this show. Yeah, me and him may gang up on you when you walk up out of here. Cause I know I can't do hey, it dog, by myself. Up, I'm, I'm from Seattle, but I'm no Miss Cleo. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I try to tell y'all ahead of time right. that Washington was going to get these guys the business. Right. Texas is not a good football team. Matter of fact, this is our podcast. I can say what I want to. Their leadership sucks. Wow. Yeah, you Steve Sarkeesian so? sucks as a leader. I'm wow. saying it right here. Okay, he sucks, <laughs> sucks I tell as you a leader. What, well, I'm going to give him another year. I believe that a coach should have ample time. Did you see the video that came out about him? Uh, no, I you haven't seen it? the video. Nate, I'm, I'm not going. No, I'm just gonna give you a synopsis of it. Okay, okay. Nate. Okay, you know, in in being in media, right. there's a lot of producers, right? A lot of people behind the scenes that do a lot of hard work that the public never knows about. Right. Okay, but we value them because we know how much they do. Okay, right. so on the field. Okay, you remember coming out the tunnel, right? right? Sometimes there were gentlemen who had headsets on, right. Who held you back. Right until right. until TV came back and then they said what? Go ahead, right. go ahead and come out the tunnel, right? But they had the headsets on, they had the direct communication right. with TV, mm-hmm. okay, doing their job, right? Right. And what do they normally do? In order to hold the team back, what do they do? They stretch their they arms out, out. Yeah. right, and they're holding guys back, right. okay. Yeah. And you know that as a player, all right, they're doing their job, okay. Right. And when they say go, when they take them arms down, right. we rolling. Yes, gentlemen was doing that, okay. As the Texas with Texas Longhorns are getting ready to come out the tunnel. Okay, Washington was, hadn't came out yet, but Texas was about to come out. Steve Car- uh, Sarkeesian sitting there in the front of the line. Dude's doing that, right? Got the right. headset on, same thing. He goes up and starts MFing this dude. Caught on film. Wow. Starts MFing this dude. Don't you ever effing touch me again, you mother. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow. Caught on film. That's who's leading that program. Well, you know what, man? We- and the other cat who's leading that program is a quarterback who won't jump ship 17 times. The guy from, from South Lake. He done jump ship. Yeah, ain't that his, like his third school that he don't been at? Stop, man. Nate, he I'm just taking shot. Nate, that's Nate, that old, I'm just saying, Nate. That's that old Seattle garbage. Nate, I'm man. just saying, nah, Nate, nah, Nate, nah, we already man. won, Nate. I don't have to take shots. We won. <laughs> we won. We should have blew him out, but we didn't. You know, we took too, we took too many long throws down the field. We should have just ran the ball. We were getting nine yards a pop. You know what? I hope Texas play y'all again. I hope so too. Cause they'll remember. They'll remember. Oh, they can that. remember the times. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go tell them. Say, y'all, Listen let me up. tell you. I'm gonna Listen tell. Up. They Coach can remember the, the times. And I'm going to say, let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, so they can break y'all They off. can listen to Michael Jackson's, remember the times. They can go to Denzel Washington, remember the Titans. <laughs> I don't care what they remember. They're they going to get you. They gonna get that work. What, what? Just like your boy going to get that work next year when we play him. Who that? The Prime. You know what? I, I was over his house <laughs> yesterday, uh, two days ago. Did you tell him what I said? I, no, I started to call you. You should have called me. Yeah. I would have told him the same thing. We, bro, 
we're going to lay hands on you and it ain't going to be about prayer. I promise you that. It ain't going to be about prayer. Oh, so now you Jalen Smith. You speaking wee wee. You speaking French now. <laughs> now you speaking hey, French. But the hey, Prime going to defend itself. I, I know he's been up there winning this year. Next time you go to his house, call me. I'm okay. going to keep the same energy. You know yeah. me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep All the right. same energy. Hey, they got to show me. He's uh, like, he's going to say the same thing. Y'all got to show me. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. why we were competitors. All right. I don't care what he does recruiting wise. We still got I'm them dogs. Just saying, man. Hey, we're we're bringing back our quarterback. He's number one in the nation in passing. Wasn't up for a Heisman. They disrespected him. Disrespected him. Right. Okay, but he'll be back. Okay. Our offensive linemen, they coming back. We got goons coming back. Nate, we're gonna be all right. Okay. I don't know what Colorado got. They they, they, right. they, gonna, they gonna be trying to figure it out in camp. In triple by five games. Huh? I hope you ain't, I hope y'all early huh? in the season. Y'all early in the season. <laughs> I don't even know. Because later in the, the season, schedule. you're going to be rolling. I need to check the yeah. schedule. 2023. Yeah, you need to check the schedule. 2023, Washington this dude, Huskies. Yeah, check your schedule. If y'all in the first five games, y'all may get them. Let me see who we got. The next, tw- the next 11, what, a, what, to play 12, 13 in college? We don't even play y'all. Okay, y'all running. Y'all already set the schedule. Y'all knew Prime was coming. I can't believe you speaking wee wee though. You speaking? Yeah, well, I'm speaking French. I'm speaking <sighs> French. Wee wee. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it while he was at Jackson State. We don't even play them. You. We don't even play them cats, man. Yeah, that's whack. You got lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. But now, is it a conference game, a, ch- a championship that y'all gonna play? Yeah, in? we might face them there. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully if they're good enough. But I doubt it. That's okay. We'll be there. They're good enough. We'll be there waiting. Anyways, um, let's get into more. Yeah, let's get, let's get, yeah, let's get some more important things. Okay. Um, right. More important things, especially speaking on what took place on Monday night football. Monday wow. night football, the Buffalo Bills versus the Cincinnati Bengals. And I, if, you, if people haven't heard by now, then they must be living under a rock. Uh, what took place was very uh, is a very serious situation. It, it's it's one that if you didn't understand the severity. And the risk that football players take when they when they take the field, and they, I think everybody understands now. Right. And I'm speaking on Demar Hamlin, uh, the, the the defensive back for the Buffalo Bills. Um, T uh, T Higgins from Cincinnati caught a ball, was running with it, and upon getting upon getting tackled by Demar Hamlin and teammates, he took majority of the blow to the chest, and he stood up from getting that tackle and. What seemingly went to cardiac arrest is what's being said now uh, on the field in which they came, luckily, luckily, um, at football games, NFL games. There's plenty of medics. There's plenty of doctors. um, Everybody's there is present. So if there was ever a best case, a best case scenario in terms of that occasion happening, at a game or at a hospital or, or probably the right. two best places you could have, that could have happened. Right. Um, obviously we all wish and pray it never happened at all, but he was able to get medical attention immediately. Um, paramedics for, from what is being uh, communicated, were giving him uh, CPR yes. and AD treatments for, I think they're saying somewhere from seven to nine minutes. Um, and we know that that's not good, right? The longer you're without breathing on your own, um, the worse, your recovery most likely right. will be um, to, at, to date as of right now. Um, he ha- is under sedation and is under a critical condition at the hospital. Um, his mother was there. Uh, and so it's all around bad situation. The time stopped. Teammates were bawling, understandably. Um, they, they, they never resumed the game. Okay. Which I am in total agreement with. There's a lot. There's a lot. A lot of emotions revolving around that. Um, but want to want to get your your take on the situation, Nate. What, what was your thoughts when when you saw that, whether whether live or or hearing the news? I, I was kind of half watching it. Yeah. And then I heard I heard it. Boom! Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Uh, not not so much to hit, but Troy and Buck talking oh, about man, it. Man, boom! Big boom! Oh, let's see it again. So naturally, I runs in there because I want to see a sure, replay. Sure. And I see it. Yeah. Then I. And when he fell out, I was in the living room with my wife. I said, oh, he, he just got knocked, knocked out. Knocked out, correct. Two minutes later, I'm watching TV. Yeah. And I see these players crying. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, what done happened? Yeah, the reaction. You know, I'm thinking paralyzed. You know, I'm th- that's what I'm thinking. That's where our mind immediately yeah. goes to as football yeah. players because yeah. it sounds very bad. But yeah. we're used to seeing guys get yeah. knocked out. Yeah, so I was like, when he got knocked out, I just walked away. I'm like, he just got knocked He'll out. He'll be okay. But then I came back. I'm like, oh, he paralyzed. And I, I'm, I'm looking at the players. 
And even in that situation, you know how we've been brought yep. up. Yep. You know, you 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 kind of trying to steal yourself because you got to finish the game. For sure. And uh, but then they kept crying. Yeah. And everybody was gathering in their own little groups. I'm yeah. like, oh my god, something bad. Yeah, and bad. You, and you see every Everybody. doctor. And then when they finally say we bringing the ambulance out, I say, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And my wife knew right away. Yeah. My wife said, she's like, hey, he ain't with us no more. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You know, she didn't say it like I'm saying it. I'm yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. And then later on, you find out. But but I'm, I'm looking, and then I, I pray. Yeah, absolutely. We See, did. That's what we designed to do. Absolutely. I pray. Yep. I listened to the TV a few more minutes. I think they did a, they did excellent by not resuming that game. Right. Troy, Buck, yeah. all of those Amazing. guys, every one of them, yeah. the guys and gals, sideline. Yep. Back, they did a great job. Absolutely, they did. ESPN did a great job. Trying to give us something. They didn't even know what was going absolutely. on. But they did a great job. And so, but I turned the TV off. Mm. And I said a prayer, went to sleep, woke up that morning, looked up his name, yep. said another prayer for him and his family because uh, – a lot of people, you know, and I, on the show that I do for the Cowboys, I say, y'all, you know, it's not much for me to say because I prayed. And once I, and once you pray, it doesn't erase the situation, Correct. but it just puts it in the proper hands. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so. Totally uh, agree with you. Yeah, my, and my, and that's, what, that's what I tell people, man. We, we can go on and on and on, and, but I do like the awareness mm-hmm. because Corey Stringer, a lot of years ago, died of it. Of a of a, a heat stroke, gotcha. And 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 you would just think, and I'm not saying Minnesota did not do this, mm-hmm. but remember we used to get dudes knocked out or dudes get hurt. Hey man, move to practice over here, especially in training camp. Hey, let's go to the other field. We don't even stop practice. Correct. Now, practice is halt. Yeah. Uh, because there are more people are more aware. That we are human flesh. Yeah. Bones just like them. Yep. Uh, I like how people respond now. Uh, it puts the NFL on notice, you know. Now, uh, how they do this game, I don't know. They got to play this game or they got to – somebody got to concede so they can move on into the playoffs. So, I don't know how they do this. I'm glad it's not my job. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad. So, but when I think of it, man, I'm thinking like my son – Stop football because he had concussions. Gotcha. He had the intelligence. Him and his mom had the intelligence to sit down and rap about it. Yeah. Boom. And our coach, uh, Mac Brown, was so receptive and help, helped me, my baby. I, I love that. Then my other boy, uh, King, uh, big old gorilla dude, he, uh, he, he, he got through. So I got two sons all the way through high school, all the way through college by the grace of God. And they and uh, with minimal damage, bro. Yeah. And so when I saw that kid, I'm like, wow. All I can think about is the mom, the dad. The, if he's married, is he got kids? Because, uh, like you said, the longer uh, the oxygen, his natural breathing and flowing of oxygen. You know, you can pump oxygen into a person all you want, Correct. but it's something about where God has made us where He wanted it to be natural. Correct. And these people seem to come back quicker. Yeah. Then, the, then that self pumped, you know, where your heart stopped, where you, where your body stopped. Well, when functioning. you're when you're not breathing for that yeah. duration of time, right? Really, yeah. and I'm no doctor, so I don't want to speculate right. as if I if I know wholeheartedly. But from my understanding, you know, anything past a minute, it's a bad, it's a bad situation, right? Because right, you, right. your brain, there's no brain activity at that right, point. Right. In time. So the fact that they were administering that CPR for seven to nine minutes is is huge. Yes, right. Um, it's huge. Um, wow. Our prayer is that he makes it out of this, but even if he makes it out of this, he's going to have a long road ahead, most yes. likely, just wow. because of the, the potential damage that could have been done during that period of time. Um, our, understand, <clears throat> our understanding is that they restored his um, his pulse on the field, mm. and then they were able to, to transport him to a hospital right. out there in Cincinnati. They um, said they got one of the best in Cincinnati. That's awesome. That's yes. all. And I'm sure, I'm sure, even if they didn't have the best, I'm yeah. sure the best is on the phone or flying right. in or whatever, right? Right. Um, he's getting the best care, absolutely, yeah. hands down. Um, definitely grateful for all the prayers. We talked about Dan Orlowski and how, how yeah. uh, us as believers, right, 
how bold of a, I don't want to say it's bold, um, how proud he is to be a Christian and a believer enough to do so, risk his job. Yeah. For ESPN. He's an analyst right. for ESPN. Dan Orlovsky right. is. And he prayed on air. Yeah. On air. Knowing, yeah. no, wholeheartedly knowing that I might very well lose my job. Yeah. Because they have to be unbiased in their in their beliefs, right? Um, so kudos to him for being bold enough to to do that. And um, kudos to ESPN. For allowing it, yeah. For allowing it to happen, man. It's some, it's, 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 it's a Christian up there somewhere. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I, I, yeah. I pray. I, yeah. I pray that a lot of people came to know who, who God is yeah. from l that. L l let me say this, man. You know, hockey players, I found this out from Broadus, okay. Brian Broadus, hockey players have that happen to them more than any athlete. Really? Where puck hit them Just, yeah. at the right time. But somehow it it don't it, it messes up their heart. Yeah, it don't stop it, but it it, it makes it flutter. Yeah, yeah. and uh, That's interesting. And so they say hockey players get that a lot. Wow. And uh, you you have to be uh, I used to I used to punch people in the chest. You know when I was mm -hmm. playing with the Cowboys, I used to just go up to do spend a new report on yeah. what's up, boom, and hit him in the chest. And uh, Bill Jones walked up to me yesterday. Said you remember in uh, wow in um. Uh, we was in at London. Yeah. He said, I said, yeah, I remember we was in the bar. We was in the bar. We had drinking all night. Okay. And I just, hey, Bill, pull me <laughs> in this chair because his, his daughter went to South Lake. My kid went to gotcha. South Lake. Okay. And they were friends. So I'm like, and I and I think about that. And it, so yeah. even when you're playing with your kids, Absolutely. you got to be weary. Absolutely. Because, because if you catch them at the right, right time, like that hit was at the right yep. Or time. Wrong time. Yeah. It was the wrong time. Yeah. But he caught him at, you know. Correct, correct. And it changed the, yeah, the it conditions. Changed, yeah. Wow. No, but it's just so wow. pray, prayers up for that for for DeMar, man. I, I I I really hope that he that he comes out of this. Um, you know, here um at the time of this filming, he's now been sedated and under their care for a day and a half now. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. A tough situation, man. Um God the next the next the, the next God morning. Him, man. You know, yes. so I'll rewind and I'll fast forward two weeks prior to that. And uh, I think we brought it up on here. You know, my ex teammate, Jason Hatcher. Yes. Lost his son. Yes. To similar, but not not the same um, heart condition. And he went into cardiac arrest right. on the field, all that jazz. Um, and he lost his son. Um, this was right before Christmas. Yes. Yes. I remember uh, that. So prayers up for Hatch. Yes. So that happened. And then this took place. And then the next morning, I woke up to find out that my uh, that my teammate that I played with Uche down in Jacksonville, he had a heart attack and passed away. So you talking about three events, right? Two that were directly connected to me. One that obviously you saw. Right. It, it scares the crap out of you, right? It really scares the crap out of you as former players because so many things that we experience, we kind of just eh, I'll be all right, eh. Uh, I'll check on it later. If it's still bugging me, you know what I mean? Right. And it really, all the communication, I've talked to so many guys over these over these past few days since that event on Monday, and everybody's checking on each other, and everybody's like, hey, man, if you got anything going on, like, just get it checked out. The NFL has a ton of resources for former players that most people don't, we don't, most of us don't take advantage of. I'm, I'm about to, I've, I feel like I've taken advantage of a good amount of them, but I'm about to dive in even more and find out whatever else is out there because I'm like, I'm not fooling with I this. Hate to, I hate to laugh. Yeah. I hate to laugh. If it's anything that's efficient in a life, yeah. this dude going to find it. <laughs> Bargains. <laughs> he don't care. If, it's, if, 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 if he can get it done, Absolutely. he going to get it done. Absolutely. Yeah. So I Believe me, I know there's a – I think Tulane has a program where we can get like – a a very thorough checkup like every right. five years and they right. fly us in and all that jazz. So I'm about to be taking advantage of that. Nate. Yeah. Uh, I might be uh, taking you with me. You got to okay. come with me. So I care you, man. Me, you and church. Huh? Let's go. I'm serious, man. We can't church. may want to start dancing <laughs> all on the plane. No, <laughs> you know. Dude, we, get, we get one life. Yeah. Right. We get one life. You, wow. you know, you had things in your life that you want to change physically. Right. Mm -hmm. And you took the steps to take advantage right. of that. Right. Because you had a warning. Right. They warned you, hey, if you keep down this road, there's a potential that you are running into some issues. Yes, sir. Right? So you took whatever you could control. You're like, I'm going to change this situation, right? right? And you're better for it. Right. right? And I think all of us need to – it's unfortunate that it takes incidents like this, right, 
to put that back on notice for everybody. There's always a warning. There's always a warning, right? So I, I told the wife, I was looking here, I'm I'm going, so I'm going to get checked out. I'm going to get checked out. So uh, she just, I, told her, I said, I've been feeling out of breath for the last few years, and I'm dead serious, Nate, dog. And you know, she looked at me and said, she said, you just don't do no cardio. I said, look at here. Okay, <laughs> I ain't that out of shape. I'm going to something wrong. I'm going to get checked out. <laughs> so that's that. Um, so prayers up. If you guys have not already prayed, um, whatever belief systems you have, please uh, send up some some prayers and, for and, for the Martin's family. And let me say this right here. Let me let me say this. Let me tell you something. And I mean this. Before you say you're going to pray for someone, mm-hmm. especially publicly, please have already have prayed. Mm-hmm. See, because some things, like I tell people, as much as y'all know, big noon, love, jolly, fat, whatever you want to call me, I'm, 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 I'm all that. But what I've learned is we, be as public figures, believers, uh, we are not allowed to say, uh, are we gonna, you know, pray? Why you, you, when we know better, pray, yeah, and then say, hey, my prayers, absolutely. You know, so don't, uh, just yeah. Translation, don't do it for the gram. Yeah, yeah. Just translation, okay? Yeah. Don't do it just because yeah. others are seeing you and it's going to put you in a positive light like uh, yeah. that. Yeah. Like, to your point, right, what you the first thing you did was what? You started right. praying. Yeah. Okay, first thing my, myself and my kids started right. doing was right. praying, right? Yeah. I prayed, and then my kids sat there and said, yeah. I prayed for them. Yeah. Right? It's no different if we pass somebody... If we pass somebody on the on the street corner who's homeless, right? right? My right. kids, I'm immediately. Right. I just pray for them, Daddy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah prayer man. don't take a million words. Nope. Just a sentence or two. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, all right. So um touch on that. Dallas Cowboys, Nate. Week uh, eighteen. Lost a couple games this year. They shouldn't have lost. Mm-hmm. Had they won those games. We'll see where they be right now. One. Okay. And the the one seed gives you what? Uh, a, a week off to heal up. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and, and, a, and a bye in yeah. the first round of the playoffs. That's what I'm saying. A week off to heal so, up. So how important is a, Have you ever had a, had a first round bye? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I have. And what does that do for you, Nate? Man, it just gives you all the energy in the world. Uh-huh. It gives you all. And you get back. And it's always amazing where a player says, if I had another week, I could play. Mm. That mm-hmm. is what the bye is all about. Mm. That extra week, Hankin is, is. Jonathan Hankin. Yes. I want to pronounce his name right. Yeah, they need him. We need and that Van Der extra Esch. week. And Van Der Esch. And we need that extra week. You know what else I like about that extra week, Nate? What's that? And yes, it allows for your players to get back. Yes, it allows your team to get 100% healthy, hopefully, right, or as right. close to 100 as possible. Right, You're only 100 when you go to camp. Right. It turns your season – your your goal in the season is Super Bowl. Right. It turns it into a two-week series. Yes. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. That's what people don't talk about. Everybody talks about the health and very much so. In my head, we only got to play two good games, and we in the, we in the show. Wow. When you're in the wild card, you got to win three games. And then the show. And then the show. And hoping that it's a week open so you can rest. Because you always get a week off before the show. Right. You get one week off before the Super Bowl. That's right. But when you have that first round bye, that first round bye is one high intensity, physically demanding, right? Stressful week. On your body, on your mind, on everything, and you got to get past that. And you're like, "Woo!" If we get past that one, crap, we still got two more of these joints that are gonna only going to increase in intensity. But when you have that first round bye, Nate, dog, tell people what I mean. You, what's 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 the first round bye do for you? What, what, Man, what is it? you you get to work on the little small things, okay? Especially you that extra week of scouting. Okay, the smart coach is going to say, "Okay, like." Dak, what it, it gives Dak mm. that extra week for a head coach, an offensive coordinator to say, hey, man, let's take these extra few hours to go over the bad throws. Not not somebody else's mistakes, but your mistakes. Yeah. Or Dak can self-scout. What, what, what was I thinking here? Or you can look at a running back who's been a little gimpy like Tony and say, wow, you know what, man, I'm going to spend like, the crowd chamber. Hey, let Mr. Jones tell your folks I'm coming over. You know, just those little things, man, uh, are where I, I felt I wanted, man, 
I was kind of breathing heavy in that last game. Now I said, you know what, Nate? Let's change your diet. Yeah. Because people don't understand, you can change your diet in three days. Absolutely. And put a little bit of running behind it. And feel the and difference. Yeah. Because I was a drinker. Yeah. So I, I automatically felt, I stopped drinking on Thursdays. Okay. You know, Randy White taught me that, the great Randy White. I said, man, you got to stop on Thursday. <laughs> Cut it off. Nothing on Friday, nothing on Saturdays. Yeah. You know, after the game, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Get out. Like- <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but you know what? I could feel the difference. Yeah. In my body. So that extra week, it's the world, man. Yeah. And it gives your coaches a chance to say, okay. Yeah. Is I'm going to use mm. both my running backs. I'm going to do like Tom Brady and go with a one-back system. Yeah. Remember, remember what's Absolutely. my big – Leonard Fournette. Yeah. He had two runs. He had Leonard and another guy. Yeah. That Super Bowl run. And they had – and they said, you know what? I'm just going to use Leonard. Run and pass. Yep. So, it, it, the little things that change. But help people understand the, the difference <clears throat> in your approach and your mindset to the playoffs when you have to win three games to get to the Super Bowl versus two. We tried to make that run. It's difficult. Yeah. Only a few teams have made that run. You know, it's more relevant now than when I played okay. because it, it, it was hard. Yeah. It just, you, you, you come out of a game. See, because in our situation, my situation, at least two of those years was, we came out of that game and had a game the next week. Mm. And we had to be ready because the NFC East, like now, was the bomb. Yeah. And we were physical. The NFC all together with the 49ers. Yeah. Atlanta, even Atlanta had a stick. Detroit had a I mean, teams that yeah. are irrelevant now had a stick. And we had to play these guys. So you come out of a physical game, say, playing the Bears. Okay. And then we had to go up to Detroit right away. Yeah. Oh, man, Barry Sanders was a different light. <laughs> <laughs> he shined on us, dog. <laughs> Hey, yeah. and Detroit, we Detroit we getting did back to those days, that. too. They yeah. getting back to that. Oh, they got us, man. Yeah. And so, the next, when we played Detroit, it was over. Yeah. And, and uh uh-huh. But the next year, we knew. Okay. If we wanted to have success, you got to have this thing, not only the week off, but see, now the week off means that everything run through you. So now when you're resting and you're self-scouting and you're getting that extra day of uh, weight training, you're thinking. You're watching, you watching the, the people because they reseed mm-hmm. that could possibly play you. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people think that you do a lot of guessing. Okay. You don't have to do a lot of guessing because we spent that open week working on us. Yep. Coach scouting. Johnson yeah, believed scouting. we're going to work on us. Yeah. And it, narrow, and it narrows the field because now the scouting department can do their, do their job. Yeah, they can go out there. They're looking at two teams. That's right. right. They know they know between these two teams, that's we're going to face one of these jokers. Yes, right. And it yeah. allows for them to really lock in and get the game plan together. And you'll have two different game plans depending on the outcome of that game, right? And then they throw that thing on your desk and hey, get to work. The, the, the thing about it is, we always knew it was going to be the Green Bay, the New York Giants, really, or, 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 or Philly. It was one of those teams that was. Because the NFC was it, and 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 in these two divisions within the NFC, they were we were it, we yeah. were it, bro. All right, so now back you talking about old school now today. Yeah. Now we've talked about a number of cats here before. The three different scenarios for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Everything in the, in, in, the, in the kitchen sink works in their favor this week. They win. Philadelphia loses, right? And I think I think Green Bay loses, something like right. that, right? And. They get oh no the 49ers have to lose right, right. So 49ers have to no, lose if, 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 oh, first of all, easiest one yeah if Philly lose we win we go to uh, the second Ed, seed. we go to second seed at least yep. the second so, seed yep so that's so situation number one though right, right. first round bye that's in order right. for it to win the whole division that's right right the 49ers have to lose and Philly has to lose that's right and, and, okay you don't think so. I don't think it's gonna happen okay so that right. that's best and Dallas wins okay so right. Dallas win Philly lose 49ers lose that gives you your first seed yes. first round bye woo everything runs through Dallas all right scenario number two Dallas wins Philly Philly uh, loses okay but 49ers win. Okay, I think that gives you the second seed. That gives us the second seed. Yes, okay. it does. Yes, second it does. seed, who would you face, Nate? 
You 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 coming? The Raj is coming to us. Who's that? Aaron Rodgers. A Aaron. To us. Yeah, he coming to us. Who's that? What'd you call him? Aaron Rodgers. No, what do you call him? Yeah, I call him. I call him Aaron Rodgers. I, I thought you called him John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you called him John Wick. I thought he was John Wick. That's what I called him way back then. <laughs> but you know what? He done turned wickish more than it. This dude won what five straight games. Now listen here. They told this dude six weeks ago. I think five or six weeks ago. You Don't have bring to win. back that name. You have to John win out. Week. And he looked at them like, okay. <laughs> he looked at you them know like, that's my, see, that's my favorite quarter. Oh, I know. He's a dude. He's a dude. Okay, so that's scenario number two. We'll hit on it. Okay. Scenario, scenario number three, which is the most likely. Okay. Philadelphia wins against the Giants. Right. But the Giants are coming along now. That's right. That's okay? right. But Jalen Hurts might be rusty. Right. You never know. Um, and it doesn't really matter. If Philadelphia wins, you fall to the fifth seed. That's it. Okay. That's it. And you play who? You play... The greatest, the GOAT. The GOAT. Play the GOAT. So, most likely, okay, let's go ahead and just disregard the first round bye because it's a very, very slim chance that Philly and 49ers lose, okay? Okay. Couldn't happen, but not not very likely. So, you are you have Aaron Rodgers at home or Tom Brady in Tampa. Nate Aaron Dunn, Rodgers. Who, Aaron Rodgers at home, John Wick. At home. Yes, sir. You remind... Oh, bro, I was calling that cat John Wick. You, John Wick at you, home. You rather the play Dallas Aaron Rodgers? The Dallas Cowboys are 8-1 and one at the crib. What, they but, are what's, eight, but what's Aaron Rodgers' record at the crib against... Let Aaron, me tell you something. Hold on. I'm going to find that, Nate. You now. can find whatever you want. <laughs> you rather go on the road and deal with... With Tom Brady, they sit in there saying, man, I'll come into the crib. You can beat me. Yeah, it takes – I'm going to tell you, like one of my coaches told me one, a long time ago, it takes a mighty poor dog not to fight in your own backyard. Aaron Rodgers has an 8-2 and two record against the Cowboys, care. including a perfect 3-0 and o record in Dallas. Okay, what does Tom Brady have? Now, yeah, go look that up, Mr. Logical, <laughs> okay? Because John Wick, man, hey – Sooner or later, you got to stamp him out. Even they, even they had to stop making movies. I mean, he got to be too much. He can't kill up everything. Tom Brady has a record of 7-0 and against the Cowboys in his career. <laughs> okay. 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 But majority of those, five he, of those were in New England. But Yeah, but two of them was here. Facts. Two no, of them, he came no, to Dallas. one. One. He didn't come to Dallas twice and beat us? In New England? As a, as a Patriot? I'm talking no, about I'm, as a Buccaneer. I, we played, We opened the season last year against him. And loss. There. Okay. They, you know, and then they came here this year. Right, right. Opening the but games. I'm saying his his stat here, since you he he can't have it if he changed teams. His stat here with coming into the Cowboys Stadium. Has he only been here once? Uh, I'm looking at it right yeah, now. Yeah, look at it right now. Has at you, Dallas once, twice, three times. Yeah. So they they the same. Three and no. Who would you I would be brother be home? And face John Wick, then the goat face the goat. The, the record's the same. I don't care. They're both three and zero against you at the crib. I, so you rather? It, okay. The only thing he Let, can, okay. the only thing he can identify with y'all <laughs> is Washington. <laughs> would you rather play Washington? Nate, no. Right, would can, you rather can let you, Washington can, can play? Can I explain it? Can I explain yeah. why? Yeah, okay. Can I explain yeah, why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, come Tom, Brady's, logic, Tom, Tom Brady's the greatest ever. That's right. Okay. Awesome. At the end of his career. Okay, not playing like it, though. Right. Not playing like it. He just got on the same page with Mike Evans last week. That's right. Mike Evans hadn't had a touchdown all year. That's right. Okay, all year. Mike Evans we're talking about. That's right. But last week they connected. I think he had 207 yards receiving. Three touchdowns. Ah, dang it. Yeah. Bad time for them to be figuring things out. They have all the receivers. Okay, they have all the personnel. But I think Dallas matches up well against them right now. I really do. Because they don't have a running game. They don't have a running game. And the one thing that people have feared most about Dallas most of this season, not the last four games, most of this season was what, Nate? When you face the Dallas Cowboys, when you think about the Dallas Cowboys, you fear what about them? What do you fear? Y'all, here we go again. Hold on, not just going to answer this. Four <laughs> games ago, you feared Dallas pass runs. Okay. Four Facts. games and ago. I, I, I set the precedent on that. Uh, I'll try uh, to give you a little heads up. But if you're going to face, face the Dallas Cowboys, you fear that's the only thing you fear about them. Because right now, you're confident that Dak's going to give you the ball. Last six games, Dak's had, Dak has 10 interceptions. Let me say this right here, man. 
All I'm asking is Tom Brady and most of them guys, have they been to a Super Bowl in the last three years? Yes, Lord. And if they've been to a Super Bowl in the last three years, they got faith. you mean to tell me they can't get it up? Come on, man. I, I don't disagree with you. Yeah, I, I don't I, disagree. Just, to have been there and to be counted out. You got to understand, four weeks ago, I get oh, it. man, I get they it. were counted I out. I get it. Who's more of a sniper right now, Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? At home, no, I don't no, care. no, 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 no. Who right now do you I, fear I, more as the individual? I have to look at what's best for the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, they're safer at the crib. Okay, uh, yes, sir. I'm going with the. What, what's safe for the Cowboys is not going down there to Tampa trying to figure that out. No, you don't do that. Do you fear Tampa? What do you fear about Tampa? Tom Brady. Yes, sir. I fear. I fear Tom Brady telling the coach, "Hey, man, I got this." Don't. We, but I, what does Tom Brady help? What What is the neutralizer to Tom Brady? The pass, pass rush, rush up the, mi- up pass the rush, middle, up the middle, up the middle, pass rush up the middle. They got the center back. He hates right? it. They got the center back, right? I think so. Because our big two, D, our two guys up in the middle ain't been ain't been killing nobody. Our guys up the middle ain't been killing nobody. And see. They don't have a run game, but what team? Nope, they don't. But what team? He's still on IR, right? What Ranger. team hasn't been able to run on Dallas? Hmm. Well, when, when Jonathan Hankins was in there, they weren't running the ball. Well, on they Dallas. saying Hanks may be back, but I wouldn't trust that. You wouldn't trust it. No, no, but a torn peck, a strained peck, all it takes is one good yeah, downhill right. run. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. But they don't have the guys to run the ball. Okay. In Tampa. Tampa will find a way, man. Leonard Fournette has not been running the ball like that this year. Brady will find a way. How many interceptions Brady have? Uh, Three. How many, man? How many does the John Wick have? Man, I forgot. He got I nine. He got 24 game. touchdowns, nine interceptions. This dude is cold. This dude is a cold-blooded assassin, bro. Okay, hold on. Let me look up. Let me look up. This dude is a cold-blooded assassin. 20, Have worked with nine. nothing all year. Who? Guys been in Tom? and out of. The, they've been in as offensive line, bro. No run game. He well, had. A, you know who's had nothing? Aaron Rodgers. He lost with his number one receiver. He's playing with a bunch of rookies. He sold his number one receiver out. <laughs> His number, they, one, they his, number call, one, his number one receiver about to be on the move again. You know why? Because the quarterback he left him for ain't going to be playing there next year. Uh, uh, and all I'm saying is they call Aaron into a room and close the door and say, look here. Aaron Rodgers got 25 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. So stat-wise, they're right there with each other. But who got two less? One less touchdown, two less interceptions. I tell you what, man. Come on. Come on to Dallas. If that thing can... Work anywhere in our favor. Come on to Dallas. You want to know what Dak Prescott's stats is? No, nah, I know they, they're not. <laughs> they're not favorable. No, we not don't. for thirteen. How many games he played this year? Dak 14? Prescott, twenty-two touchdowns, fourteen interceptions. Wow. Oh. He played. See, I and, heard Coach McCarthy say what, five less games. Yeah, five I heard Coach games? McCarthy say the other day. Yes, defense does win championships, but quarterbacks win. Super Bowls, mm. and I and, and you think I, he's applying pressure. Uh, yes, in an indirect way. What what you have to do? One thing you have to do, and you told me this. We just sitting up watching the games. Yeah. Interceptions come in the weirdest ways. Yep. Deflections, a slight overthrow where you throwing it to the right man, but it was a slight overthrow one way or another over his head. It is interception. But now, why do you force the interception? Why do you say I'm gonna take I'm gonna take 100 percent effort to throw a pass that's only 20 percent chance of making? That's that's not being aggressive. I, I, if you, I if you throw on a pass, and I, and I'll give you an example, people. Let me tell you something. I'll give you a great example. It's third and four. Mm-hmm. Twenty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. <clears throat> And you got to dump down to your tight end that gets you five yards. But you see a receiver stri- streaking down the sideline with the, with the defender on the with with the defender inside yeah. with it, with an arm bar, and you still throw that ball. Oh no! And all of a sudden, the ball either go out of bounds or this guy coming back with it. 
you had a, a 80% pass right in front of you for a first down. Yeah, easy one. That's what TB12 versus does. the 30 <clears throat> the 30 yard down the field that was only a 20% chance of making it. You wanna it. know why TB12 is still playing? Because he learned a long time ago to take those easy ones. Yeah. There's no quarterback better in the <clears throat> league than taking the easy plays in time. He will throw it to a, to a dump down all day long as long as those chains keep moving. Yeah. He does not give a dog on. I'm give you since, since before we shut it down. Dallas has had the benefit of playing their two potential opponents this year. That's right. That got hurt in, in week one against the Buccaneers, but I'm going to yeah. give you the stats, okay? Because we're talking about the offense and the quarterbacks. Right. We're talking about what Dak did against those teams. Against the Bucs, Dak had 134 yards passing, one interception, no touchdowns, 48.3% completion rate. Worst of the year. Against the Packers. 265 yards, played a whole game, okay? Three touchdowns, two interceptions, 58% completion. Under 60%. Under 60% in both games against both potential playoff scenario teams. What? This is what, at this point in Dak's career, this is what I was hoping to see. Okay. Is improve, and you you know what I'm asking something that's impossible, maybe okay. improve on your instincts, okay. because as a rookie and in your first few years, you knew on them third and fours to go get them. Okay, with your legs. When that first read break down, because nine times out of ten teams are blitzing you, yep. or they got a secondary guy coming once you don't get off that first pass. Correct. So you normally would go get that. I thought he would build on that, but the ankle scares him. Okay, but okay, we'll take a sack. Take take a sack. Don't because turn it over. There's no turnover in the playoffs. Possession. Your matters. quarterback. Ooh. Your quarterback is everything. And possessions matter because just think. You don't think Green Bay if they come here. They defense ain't going to be hyped. Dude, this is what I prayed for. After the, after the third game, he was back. Okay. I said, y'all, and I told this to the people on our shows, I say, you don't want to be that quarterback at the end of the year getting ready for the playoffs and the defensive coordinator at the end of the day said, yeah, he's a good quarterback, but – he gonna throw you one or two. Yeah. You just gotta catch it when it comes. Getting there, he's getting there. That's and that's what I'm that saying. That is so scary because we used to do our means with Coach uh, Coach Johnson, mm -hmm. and Coach Johnson would be sitting there smiling. And you know who he, uh, he said about Matt, Matty Ice? Mm. He like, and even Brett Favre, but Brett Favre was a different animal. Yeah, it's a different dude. He was a different animal. Mm. He gonna give it to you. But, but those gonna... two guys there, they used to smile and like. I'm give you one or two. You just got to catch him. Mm. And when you become that quarterback, bro, they basing their whole game on just playing sound defense because you, you they don't feel you can beat them. You want to play Green Bay? Yes, sir, I got to. I got to, man. Dallas' defense against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, hold on. Now, you was praising them 20 minutes ago. I'm just, I'm just giving you the understanding. How do teams beat <laughs> Dallas' defense? Running the rock. Okay, so that's what I'm about to show you. I know Tampa the Jones Bay, kid Tampa, don't do that. Tampa Bay no, Buccaneers. Don't do that. Leonard Fournette. Is hurt. Okay. They ran for, they had 244 yards of total offense against Tampa Bay. Right. Where Tampa Bay had that against Dallas. 173 yards through the air, 71 yards on the ground. Right. Okay. So what you looking at now? What you thinking about? Okay, now you going to Green Bay, huh? Going to Green Bay. Yeah, that was ugly. Green Bay Green was Bay. ugly. Green Bay. You sure you want to see this? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, and by the way, Tampa had 12 first downs. 12. Okay. Against Green Bay. Green Bay had 24 first downs. Woo! 262 yards in the air. 159 yards on the ground. Wow. And they got two running backs. And you want to see Green Bay. Legit. We got to. At the crib, 
ET, come home, baby. You gonna yes, be a stop the run? Yes, sir. We got- twenty four first downs versus twelve. Nate, do you believe in playoff football? I believe in playoff football, but I also believe that mm-hmm. Dallas matches up better against Tampa. So now you want to go. Dallas on the road. doesn't do good. So now you want to go on the road. Dallas doesn't do good. So now you want to go on the road. Bully ball. So now you want to go on. I the will road. go on the road because bully ball beats Dallas. Well, okay. Right. Tampa can't play bully ball. Okay. You know who can? Who? Green Bay. Okay. You already know who else can? That don't team that say, you really don't want to face. Say, don't say 49. <laughs> Do not say Come on, man. You talking about it's two teams that I have admired. It's yeah. three teams that I have admired over the years. The identity and the culture. I, I have admired these three teams over the years. Okay. First, it was the Patriots. Okay. They were building a team, and when they got Tom Brady, they went over the top yeah. for a lot of years. Yeah. The 49ers mm-hmm. have built a team. Quarterback just don't mess it up. I'm, I'm telling you what Shanahan looking at his quarterback. Third so, string quarterback, Mr. Do not, Irrelevant. Do not mess it up. Purdy. And, and you know who else? I've always admired. Who that? And he's doing it again. Who that? Rebuilding himself. Who that? The Seattle Seahawks. I'm sorry, what was that? The Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here no, first, y'all. The Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks, baby. Yeah. Let's go fly on them, baby. Let's go. <laughs> What's I know the Seahawks? Who? What's the Seahawks? What do you even hey, look the like? Hawk. You understand what I'm saying? Hawk. All oh, day just sitting there looking at you all day, <laughs> waiting for you to pick you apart. You understand me? Hey. We appreciate y'all listening in. Nate Dog yeah. wants to play Green Bay. I want to play against Tampa. We're going to find home. out here. I want to be home. By the next time you guys hear our voices, okay, we will know who the heck Dallas is playing. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to bring that fire per usual, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. We'll see y'all next time.